Hey everybody, Johnny here. Let's do some math together. You can find more good math at jmathpage.com. I put lots of good things there for you. So today we want to think about multiplying by twos. All right, let's set some out for ourselves, okay? So let's start over here. So we can make a table. So 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 3 times 2, 4 times 2, 5 times 2, 6 times 2, 7 times 2, 8 times 2, 9 times 2, and 10 times 2. That should do for today. If we learn these really, really well, we, we, we know our twos. So today, let's use a little tool to help us think about them. Let's use a number line. So I'll make a number line to look at our multiples of two. And we're going to be doing something called skip counting. Skip counting is one way to think about multiplication. So let's do that today. I'm going to mark off this number line. I'll start with zero good place to start. And then I'm going to number them off one by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Lucky for me, I had just enough line there. Now you can always make a line like this for yourself when you're trying to do multiplication. So let's see what we can do with this line. Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to think about the skip counting again. So if I'm counting by twos, one times two, two times two, three times two, four, by, four times two, I want to count by twos here too. So what I want to do is I want to count only by twos. So instead of counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, I should count by twos. 0, then 2, then 4, then 6. So my skip counting, I'm skipping the number in between. I only care, care about the ones that are twos. So 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Let's make this a picture to help ourselves understand it better. So let's start at zero. If I have no twos, I have zero. If I have one two, I've skip counted to one two. If I want to skip count again, I skip three, and I go to four. Skipping from four past the five, I get to six. Six past seven, to 8, 8 past 9 to get to 10, 10 past 11 to get to 12, 12 past 13 to get to 14, 14 past 15 to get to 16, 16 past 17 to get to 18, and one more, right? So 18 past the 19 to get to 20. Now what's good about this is we can think about this continuing going on, but for today this should be enough for us. So we can see that I'm counting by twos. One two, two twos, three twos, four twos, five twos, six twos, just like my list over here. One two, two twos, three twos, four twos, five twos, six twos. Now I want to think about what's possible here. And, and here's something that I'm noticing. I think this is interesting. So I notice something special about my skipping by twos. I notice something about where I end up. So let's look at these for a moment. I notice that I start at zero. And I also notice that if I go here, there's also a zero here. So twos, if I have zero twos, or I have one, two, three, four, five twos, it ends in zero. 
But look over here, I see another one. If I continue, one, two, three, four, five more twos, I end up at 20, which also has a zero. So I'm seeing that there's a pattern here, zero, zero, zero. Are there any other patterns? Well, I see that I end up at two here, and I also notice that I end up at two here. So I notice that one of the ending numbers for my multiples of two is always going to be two. I notice this with the fours as well. We end up with four here, and we end up with four here. If I continue looking for a pattern, I see that I end here with 6, and I see that there's a 6 here as well. So 6 is one of the digits that matters in multiples of 2. 6 over here and 6 there. And then 8 is a place I end up, and I also find myself at 8 over here. So if I'm looking at this, I see that my numbers, the last digits, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, Again, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and again 0, and I imagine the next one has to be a 2. So I notice that all multiples of 2 are even numbers. Now that's important. If I go back up here, I see I don't end up on 1, or 3, or 5, or 7, or 9. Those are all odd numbers. So when I'm thinking about my multiples of 2, they always have to end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Okay, let's use that right now to think about our multiplication over here. So, if I say 1 times 2, I'm saying I should skip count 2 one time. So let's try that. Skip count 1, skip count 2 one time. If I do it just one time, I end up at 2. So 1 times 2 is equal to 2. This here says 2 times 2. In other words, skip counting by 2 two times. So let's do that. 1, 2, and I get 4. So 2 times 2 equals 4. Look at the next one, 3 times 2. Skip counting by 2, 3 times. 1, 2, 3, and I find myself at 6. So 3 times 2 equals 6. Next one, skip counting by 2, 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, and I find myself at 8. 5 times 2, skip counting 2 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I find myself at 10. So 5 times 2 equals 10. Skip counting by 2 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and I find myself at 12. 6 times 2 equals 12. Skip counting by 2 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I find myself at 14. So 7 times 2 equals 14. Again, skip counting by 2, but this time 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and I find myself at 16. So 8 times 2 equals 16. Skip counting by 2 9 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I find myself at 18. So 9 times 2 equals 18. And the last one, skip counting by 2 10 times. You probably already know the answer to this one. But let's try it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And you knew it. It's 20. So 10 times 2 equals 20. 
And let's do a little check here. I want to know something. I noticed that all the multiples of 2 are even numbers, and they have to end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Is this true? Let's go up to our list here. 2 is good. 4, 6, 8, 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So we have 2, 4, 6, and 8. 10. Well, 10 ends in a 0. So that one's good, too. Again, I see 2, 4, 6, 8, and another 0. So all of these are good results. Multiples of 2 will always be even numbers. We should keep that in mind. So I have one more thing for you today, okay? I'm going to leave this part, the part that I notice here. But I'm going to take away all of these here, and I want you to try them for yourself. All right? So if I take this away, and I'm going to ask you to think about the number line and what you think they are. Okay? So let's go up here. What I want you to think about is 1 times 2 and what it equals. Use the number line if you need to. 2 times 2 equals. 3 times 2 equals. 4 times 2 equals. 5 times 2 equals. 6 times 2 equals. 7 times 2 equals. 8 times 2 equals. 9 times 2 equals. 10 times 2 equals. How did you do? Let's go through them one more time. Using our number line here, we can see 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We see a pattern. So 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 2 equals 8. 5 times 2 equals 10. 6 times 2 equals 12. 7 times 2 equals 14. 8 times 2 equals 16. 9 times 2 equals 18. And 10 times 2 equals 20. How did you do? Well, I hope this was useful to you. <clears throat> the most important thing is to notice that you can use, or know that you can use a number line to look at multiples of 2. You can do this for other numbers too, but the number line helped us see that all multiples of 2 are even numbers. They have to end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Okay? Hope this was helpful to you. Look for more videos, right? I'll make some more for you.